Welcome back, everyone. So we want to help you live healthy as you kick off a new year and have maybe some new goals. Holidays are coming to the end, but we know we still have some colder weather in our future. So it's important, though, to make sure that older adults in your life are still socializing, even though they may not be able to get out and about. So Dr. Ronan Factora with Cleveland Clinic says loneliness can be a precursor for depression. So getting the chance to socialize with others will help improve a person's mood. It can also be beneficial to to their cognitive and physical health. Now he says that it's okay to spend some time alone once in a while, but if it's happening consistently, it can be negative. So for example, it can impact your blood pressure, your cholesterol, even your sugar levels. So how can you encourage an older adult to socialize? Dr. Factoris says that you could also always go to their home to visit, ask them to go for a walk with you or make a meal and eat it with them. You know, a lot of communities also offer activities and programs they could attend. One of the things that we learned during the pandemic is that uh, social isolation is a really big problem. And it's probably one of the most recognized contributors to mental health issues now in the United States. And for older individuals, it's a bigger deal. You have to actually be willing to take the risk to do something different than what you're used to, to help increase the chances that you won't be isolated. And, and those opportunities, if they're brand new, uh, these are people that you don't know, that, that's, you can look at it as an opportunity to make new connections, you know, meet new people. Amen. And even when they say no, sometimes you have to force them out the house. So Dr. Factora did point out that if an older adult is experiencing a lot of depression, they should really talk with their doctor. Socialization may not be the answer and they can offer different treatment options for that individual.